guys, welcome back to another vi review on a Lego set. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Tantive 4 set. Um, I don't, I forgot the set number, it'll, it'll be in the video title, but, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty big, it's approximately 62 centimeters long, take a little look there, um, so let's see the minifigures real quick, so first, I want to show you the rebel fleet trooper um he's pretty simple um he's the probably the most least interesting minifigure in the set but it's still good to get one of these guys because he only appeared in two sets for 2019 so he's got a hold on let me take his helmet off so he's got a pretty simple face print there and on the back you got a mad face print and he's got a gunmetal, uh, well, a silver weapon. Um, so there is him. Oh, then we got C-3PO. He's pretty simple, too. The same design for C-3PO that they use, they use since 2015. And he's pretty cool. R2-D2 is next. Um... Yeah, j nothing to say. He's the same R2-D2 that they use in all the other sets. Alright, here's the interesting minifigures. Princess Leia is the first one. Um, this one, the only difference about this one is that she has a dress piece instead of the normal regular legs. She actually did with, come with a separate leg piece, but I like this dress piece a little better. Since I have four Princess Leia minifigures and I like, I like how... I have a few that have the regular legs, and this one's the only one that has that dress piece, so. Then we got Captain Antilles. Hold on. So there's Captain Antilles. Pretty similar to the Rebel Trooper, but the only difference is that his face prints are different than him. Hold on, focus. Um, I, there, that face print's actually a little bit different than the Rebel Fleet Trooper's face print, and then we got him being choked out by Darth Vader, Darth Vader was, is not included in this set though, so I don't know why they added that face, but I guess they meant you can use your own Darth Vader figure, which is fine, because I already have three of them, so... So, um, alright, that's Captain Antilles. Alright, let's do the last minifigure. The last minifigure is, um, exclusive. It's Bail Organa. Um, he's exclusive to the set. Um, he's pretty cool. Oh, sorry. I'm not gonna show you his double face. He has just a, a simple face, and then he's got this mad face. Because I already just want to show you the set, because I'm excited to show it to you guys. So, nothing much to talk about for him. So, now let's show you the set. So, first, I'm going to start back here. Well, actually, no. I'm going to start in the front and then go all the way down. So, let's see. So, first, before we go in the inside, I want to show you some um, articulation moves that are on the outside. So, first, we got this little turret that you can turn. And also, you can move these guns up, up and down. There's some stud shooters here that you can shoot out. I'm not going to shoot them out because you probably already know what they do. Down here, uh, down here, um, if you can see it, hold on. We got a turret down there. You can move those things. And there's some, um, there's a turret, you see that? Oh, that's heavy. Um... I can't really record it, but there's also some um, spring-loaded shooters down there, so, you know. There's a bunch of these little guns that you can turn. Um, there's a bunch of greebling details. It's the middle of the ship. Um, inside of here, we got some extra spring-loaded shooters that you can put inside of there. And here's the handle. The handle is pretty simple. You just put your fingers under here and voila, you can carry it by the handle. 
There's some escape pods on the side. Um, there's two. One over here, one here. And let me just take one out so I can show you that you can actually fit R2-D2 and C-3PO inside. Which is, like, really cool. Alright, so if you take the thing off, there's some room in there. And you can put R2-D2 and C-3PO inside. I don't know how. I haven't tried it out yet, but let's see if they can actually fit. Hold on. See if they actually fit inside. Alright, I'm putting R2-D2 in. Alright, hold on. He's not cooperating. So there's a few studs inside that you can put them in. Um... If I can, here, let's just put C-3PO in. I don't think they can really, like, fit in the same one. On the box, it said you can fit both of them in the, in the same escape pod, but I can't seem to get them in. I think I need two hands for this, but I think I got C-3PO. Alright, alright, they can both fit. And then you just put the roof back on. Wait, C-3PO's head's in the way. God darn it, hold on, hold on. There we go. Hold on. Alright. So, they're in there. I just, you have to sit C-3PO down if you want them to fit in there, I think. But they do fit. They do both fit, which is really... They just should have made the escape pods a little bigger. But you could still fit them both inside. And they connect by these Technic pins in the back here. You just clip them on in. Like this. Um, I'm gonna take them out at the end of the video, so... Alright, then... We got the back part, which I'm gonna turn around real quick. Alright. So, we do got some turbine engines back here. This was the hardest part to build in the entire set because they're, you had to build the same thing over and over again with all of these. So, it was really hard to build, but I did get it through and I built it all right. Um, it's, I mean, they're connected by Technic pins. Um, there's a pair of binoculars back there for some reason. I don't know. But nothing else... So I showed you the exterior, now I'm going to show you the interior. First we'll start out with the cockpit. So you can take these little things off of the side. It's super fragile, so the cockpit, if you ever drop the set, the cockpit's going to fall off first, I'm just saying. It's really annoying. This cockpit, I hate how they made the cockpit, I legit hate it. because. They fall off way too easily. They just use these giant pieces and they fall off way easy too easily. So it's really hard. So I have to set the camera down. Sorry. I don't have a tripod yet. Because I, I can't afford one. I don't have enough money. But you can eventually screw around with it a bit. And I'll go. You can fit too many figures. You can fit Captain Antilles. And it's made for Captain Antilles and the Rebel Fleet Trooper. Um, but I guess I'll just put them in there if I can. Well, I have to put the camera down. Sorry. I can't do two things at once. Hold on. Oh my god. This, is, this set is so dumb. Why did they make this set like this? I don't understand. It was a two hundred dollar set. I'm re I'm really sorry. I don't have a tripod. I don't have the money for that. Tripod is not important right now. Don't need one right now. It's not important to my life. Oh my god, this is so dumb. This is the stupidest Lego set I've ever built. I think I didn't build it wrong because. Alright, I finally got them in, so that's what they look. I'm definitely not freaking breaking open the cockpit ever again because it's so annoying. 
I'm about to super glue the freaking cockpit together. I know people don't like, you guys don't like super gluing Legos, which I don't do, but I might, in this case, for the stupid cockpit, I'm about to freaking super glue this cockpit on the freaking Lego. So I can, so, so it will never fall off. Oh my god, this is the stupidest freaking design for a cockpit I've ever seen. And more pieces just keep falling off because this thing is screwing around with everything. This is the dumbest set. Alright, forget it. Forget it. I'm not fixing it. I can't do it. I can't do this, okay? Alright. Alright, I'm not- I'm, I'm gonna rush the rest of this review. So in here, there's nothing much. It's just, just a table, two chairs. You can fit many figures in there, but who cares because I'm sick and tired of freaking talking about stuff. And this video's already long enough. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy the review, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!